Alright, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox and this week I'm going to be showing you a very quick tip inside of Octane for Cinema 4D on how you can embed alpha inside of a shadow pass using something called a shadow catcher. Uh, this is super handy, especially if you're doing more static work and you need to hand files over to a client for them to fully adjust everything in the background. And it takes a little bit of the compositing work out versus a standard shadow pass. So if you're interested in that, let's get going. Okay, so I grabbed a laptop model from our schoolhouse 3D model pack available on thehappytoolbox.com. I threw that into my scene. I did a little rendering as you can see here. And now I have this really sad looking laptop ready to go to his forever home with clients. I'm sorry, little buddy, business is business. Um, I want to lay this off in a way that I have the object separate from the shadow and that the shadow has alpha included in it. So that way the client can do whatever they want with the color of the background and we don't have to go back and forth on it. So the way I'm going to do that, instead of using my render AOV system to do a shadow multi-pass inside of Octane, I'm going to just double click the background material and I'm going to go to the common section and click this little checkbox next to shadow catcher. So right when I do that, you will see, boom, the background is completely gone and you'll notice the shadows disappeared too, right? So I wanted to do this specifically because if I go to my cube that is kind of making up this environment psych that it's sitting on, you'll notice it's dark blue, which means the normals are reversed. To use this method, you have to have the normals the correct way. So I'm going to go up to mesh, normals, reverse normals, and now they're going the correct way and you can immediately see the shadow is back and it is on alpha. Um, obviously we do not want this HDRI environment in there. So what I'm going to do is open Octane settings and go and check on alpha channel. So once I check that on, you will no longer see this. One important note is I'm going to also uncheck keep environment because when I go to render this, if I don't have that unchecked, it will actually render the environment as well uh, into the output. So now we are set to go. So the last thing I want to do here is I want to hide our laptop so I can get just the shadow alpha pass. So I'm going to right click on our laptop, go down to Cinema 4D Octane Tags, grab an Octane Object Tag, and go to our Visibility tab and uncheck Camera Visibility. Okay, so there we go. And now we have our shadow completely soloed and it has an alpha channel embedded in it. And so then we just wanna go up to our render settings and make sure on save, check on alpha channel. And I also do straight alpha sometimes. I find the edges blend a little better when I do this. So I'm gonna check that on and then I'm just gonna hit render. And obviously since this is a dark shadow on alpha, you're not gonna see anything right away. But if I go over to layer, the alpha is showing we are actually rendering this shadow out. And then this would be a really good use for a take system if you're familiar with how it works, but just to show you how to uh, lay this off really fast, I'm not gonna use that. Um, I'm going to go back to my background material, uncheck shadow catcher, go back to my object tag, and actually drag it onto my floor instead. So now, when I hit kind of the RAM preview, we have our lighting back, and we have no shadow because we've taken the floor away, but we have all that same great floor reflection happening on our object. So then I'm going to offlay this in the same way. I still have my alpha channel and straight alpha checked. I'm going to say laptop body. I'm going to hit render. I'm not gonna make you guys watch this rendering process. I think I set my samples too high anyway but I'm gonna hop over to Photoshop and just show you really quick uh, how this works in terms of compositing. Okay, so just wanted to pop inside of Photoshop really fast. I have the laptop all on its own with the alpha. Um, I have it on its own layer. I have a background I can pop in here so you can see what that looks like. Um, a tip if you're in Photoshop really quick, uh, I always do layer matting defringe and then just do one pixel, hit okay. Just takes a little bit of that white off. And then from here, I'm gonna bring in that shadow. So here's my laptop shadow. In compositing programs like After Effects, etc., you won't need to do this. In Photoshop, the alpha is kind of embedded inside of here. And so if you control click on the alpha, it automatically highlights it. And then I'm just gonna hit control C to copy it and paste it into my scene. 
There we go. And now we have this completely alpha shadow going on. And so you'll notice it's like very dark, but this is how shadow passes generally come out of uh, Octane and Cinema 4D. So from here, you can basically do anything you would normally do in a compositing program. You know, I can, I'll probably nudge this down a little bit. I'll probably put a uh, alpha mask on this and do, do a little bit of shading so I can take a little bit of this uh, darkness away. Let me pop this back up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna go into details, you know, dialing this in how I would normally, but there you go. You have a object all on its own. You can turn it off. You have the shadow pass and you can turn off the background color and they are all completely separate without you having to do a whole lot of work on your end. Anyways, hope that helps. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel, that helps out a ton. Leave any comments in the comment section below if there's any uh, tutorials you'd like to see me create. And as always, if you're interested in any 3D models, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. We have a lot of models. Um, and this technique you just saw is actually how I uh, laid off kind of these different thumbnail images so that the color could be pulled via code. Um, so we have these alpha images on top of that. So anyways, I'll catch you next time.